Hey guys, so I recently did a video um, for the Dinky Toys for the uh, D7, the Klingon Battle Cruiser. Well, today, my friends, I'd like to present you with the USS Enterprise from Dinky Toys. This is, of course, from Star Trek. Star Trek, the original series. The T well, it says from the TV series Star Trek. Remember, at this time, there was only Star Trek. There was no Next Generation. There, there was nothing. There were no movies. It was just Star Trek. And this is based on the show. This came out in, I believe, 1975. 1975. The Klingon Battle Cruiser I did, I believe, came out in 1977. I'm not sure, but I got to double check on that. And the Klingon Battle Cruiser was number 357. And this one is number 358. I don't know what that R6504 is, but nothing else on the other side. With the box art, you see a nice graphic illustration of the Enterprise. You can see, again, they fire discs. The Klingon Battle Cruiser, if you remember, you put it in the top in the bridge section, and then you pull the handle on the side of it, and it shot out the the discs. This one has the discs fire out of the front of the saucer section. And I've been waiting to open this because I wanted to open it with you guys. I hope it has the shuttlecraft in it because that would be cool because a lot of them you see for sale on eBay don't have the shuttlecraft or the box for that matter. Speaking of the box, let's take a look. Got a nice depiction of the Enterprise on it, the shuttlecraft. We'll call it the Galileo. And she's firing the discs. The top of the box shows you how to load them. And again, I'll put up plenty of pictures of this. If you want, you can pause the video and check it out. The bottom has a bit of information. It's a five-shot photon projector missile firing mechanism. Removable shuttlecraft in landing compartment with opening hatch covers doubling as landing supports. I guess so that, that's so the model of the ship can stand up. And it's from 1975, made in England by Meccano. And the sides, one side is red, and the other side is pretty much the same except it's blue just like the Klingon ship. So why don't we go ahead and we'll open it up. You can see on the flaps of the box, you see some instructions. Again, I'll put pictures up so you guys don't miss anything. This is pretty cool. Here she comes. So I'll put this here for a moment. You see, here's the, the discs and stickers. something else in the box. Let me see. Oh, there's a, there's a booklet that comes with it. So, I will put up plenty of pictures of that. It's in like a, a plastic wrap. I don't know if it was like that from the factory or a collector did it, but we'll take that out. And I'll put up plenty of pictures. I'll go through this in a minute. Probably the other vehicles from Dinky. You know, like um, Diamond Select does, a little catalog. So we'll put that there. And why don't we put the box on the other side. Right there. Alright, let's take a look at the Enterprise. I'll show you that in a minute. Again, like the Klingon ship, she's pretty hefty. Um, there's metal, and then there are plastic parts. Let's see her deflector dish. 
That's obviously where you load the discs. So let's go ahead and we'll open her up and we'll see. Let's see, how do we open up the bottom? Oh, nice. So the shuttlecraft, there's a little pin in there. And first of all, let me, the doors on the bottom of the ship open up so you can stand her up. That's pretty cool. And I'm happy to say that the shuttlecraft comes with it. And there's a little hole in the shuttlecraft, and that's where the pin goes through, and it keeps it in position. So, you can picture Mr. Spock saying, Galileo to Enterprise, Galileo to Enterprise, request permission to come aboard. Um, the ship on top has the grid lines. And you can see where it says, turn to fire. And you turn it there. Let's see the nacelles. The nacelles do have stickers on it, and there are stickers on the front. I don't know if that came from the factory like that, because obviously I didn't buy this new. This is from 1975. It does also have a package of five discs and Oh, let me take this out and show you. It has fixing instructions. If you can't read that, I'll put up a picture. But these are decals. NCC 1701. Obviously these go on the side of the ship. And the numbers go on the are they on the under bridge? They go on the underneath of the saucer section. And I'm not sure what the other stickers are. See, it's actually not opened. They're still sealed. And um, I don't want to open it up. But I don't know what, uh, what these red bars are for. Unless they could be targets. I'm not sure. And the thing with the discs is that the discs are still sealed. And it's kind of a bummer because <laughs> I don't want to open it. Um, I wanted to illustrate what they looked like. And they're a different size than the Klingon um, discs. So that's a shame. But I'm sure you collectors out there can understand why I, I don't want to open them up just to fire. Um, and I certainly don't want to open up the instructions. Um, again, I'll show you the different views of the ship. Let me take the box out so you can see only the ship. Let's see the back. What if I kind of zoom in for you. And let me take this booklet out. So the USS Enterprise from Star Trek, Captain Kirk's ship, after getting it from Captain Christopher Pike, you can see in the front where the discs would fire. You know what, just to be safe, I'm going to get the discs from the D7 battle cruiser and I'm going to see if they'll fit. Give me one minute, I'm going to pause okay, the so video and I'll be right the back. discs from the Klingon ship. And they look very close. Let me go ahead and I'm going to see if one goes in. It goes in well. Let me... Now... It's loaded and it's cocked, so let's do what we did with the Klingon ship and we'll be firing at another Klingon ship. It shot out. I don't know if you got a chance to see that. Let's put another one in. So what you do is the, um, the bridge section 
it's all the way at the six o'clock position. It says turn to fire. You take the disc, of course it's the orange or yellow discs that come with the ship. You place it in and then you turn all the way around until you get to the 12 o'clock position. You're going to feel some tension and then it's going to cock. So then, let me aim it down, and you fire. So, so the firing mechanism works. You can see that the plastic section is, is pretty discolored. Um, 1975 was a long time ago. The plastic on the nacelle pylons held up really nice. And it's plastic on the, uh, the Bassard collectors are plastic. They do not light up. But this is a nice hefty ship. The detail is pretty nice considering the age. You just picture. These are the continuing voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Well, not continuing. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Her five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. And then it's kind of shh. Anyway, all right, that's enough for playtime. Let me show you the other side. Get another disc. Actually, let me uh, show you guys the catalog. So the cover is a nice illustration of the Klingon battle cruiser and the Enterprise. Again, I'm going to go through the pictures quick and then I'll put them up and you can pause if you want, but if not, it'll be quick. Um, cool, they got some Space 1999 things. The Eagle One and the Eagle transport ship. It's also a fan of Space 1999. Got some other military type spacecraft. You got a, a lot of military, it looks like a water jet, water, a ski water plane. Then you come to the Enterprise and the uh, Klingon battle cruiser. It actually shows the pellets for the battle cruiser in um, yellow, but they're actually white. The one I have is white. You can see says the Kling this is the Klingon battle cruiser being new so that's pretty cool and we get to police cars there's a police car and there's a regular car new well again remember this is 1975 so it's a pretty nice catalog more like some matchbox toys Got a nice uh, Rolls Royce. I don't know about you guys, but I have the Matchbox um, Rolls Royce. It's gray. And I've got the Mercedes. The Mercedes is, uh, I think it's blue. On the other side, you got the ambulances, the tow truck, the combination hearse um, ambulance. And then you have, because it was made in England, you have the, uh, the police looking like the um, the police from England. You got some firefighting vehicles. Then you got the buses, the double-decker buses with one smaller bus. Some taxi cabs. And then we go to the construction tools. This is a pretty, um, like I said, it's pretty well preserved, considering. I'm sure many of you out there have a lot of these small cars. Or if not these dinky ones that are very similar in Lesney, because Lesney owns Matchbox, so they did it one time. There's some more military vehicles. And here's a, a checklist. I guess 
if you get them, you can uh, mark them off that you have them. And there's more. And there's some more military type vehicles. I've got uh, a couple of the cannons, again from Matchbox, but they're very, very similar to Dinky. I'm sure many of you guys have them, and um, those little projectiles get shot out of the ones that I got. And some more military vehicles. A lot of military vehicles. This is, uh, looks like German. German anti-aircraft, German crane. Um, it looks like a Tiger tank. I don't know if that it could be a Panzer. I'm not sure. And the other tank. I'm not sure what kind the other tank is. There's quite a few pages here. They had a lot of products. More vehicles from the military. A lot of military vehicles in this. I thought it would be more towards science fiction, but... It, it's coming out to be quite a few military, whether it's aircraft, ground craft, tanks, um, water vehicles. Here you can see some helicopters. And what look like PT boats on the other side. And you have a horse-drawn carriage with another double-decker bus. And some information about the company, Meccano. New plastic uh, toys. As soon as they crossed over the plastic, I'm sure you guys can agree, it just wasn't the same after. The die-cast metal, I mean, these are going to be around. Even if it didn't have the box, I bet you these are going to be around for years to come because of the rugged construction. Even the plastic parts are very rugged. Some more Meccano toys. It looks like a nice little Meccano um, workshop. I'll tell you, they don't make toys like this anymore. They had really cool toys when we were kids. I'm in my early, I'm right now I'm 51. And they had some really, really cool toys when I was a kid that you just don't see now. Everything is built with plastic and it's just a lot cheaper. And the quality toys or collector items are very expensive. As you you guys probably know who like to collect Diamond Select, like I do. And the back of the catalog. That's, uh, that's every page, and that, again, came in the box with the ship. So let me uh, put the Enterprise aside, and I'll show you guys the shuttlecraft. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on it for you. Because I don't want to be shaky. And if I can zoom in, you guys will get a good uh, shot of it. I want it to focus, though. Are you going to focus, or are you going to focus on the background? Alright, how's that? You see the side? This would be the... Um, starboard side. I'll show you the back. Again, the Galileo was Mr. Spock's first command, so I like to, for this, I like to call this the Galileo. It's not officially the Galileo on the, any of the paperwork around the box, but I'm just saying that's what would be cool, what I think. In my imagination, it's the Galileo. And there's the front. Maybe one more time, try to zoom in, and it's not going to let me. Nope. Sorry about that. But that's the shuttlecraft. That is pretty cool. And again, it comes with five. And now I know it's five because it was uh, still sealed. And it does come with extra stickers for the side of the ship and the registration numbers that go underneath the saucer section. It comes with a catalog book, and the Enterprise herself has these doors that fold open on the bottom so that you can stand her up. 
you can see the, the marking, USS Enterprise, made in England. And when you close it, see she's all ready to go. But if you want to put her down and display her, then all you got to do is open up the doors all the way and you can uh, display her. So let me go ahead and I'll shoot the um, projectiles to show you guys and we'll shoot at the box, kind of like what we did for the Klingon ship. Let's see if we can line up the Klingon ship. We'll shoot at the Klingon ship. All right, so you can see the hole. You drop the uh, tablet into the hole. You turn it to 12 o'clock. And once it's at 12 o'clock, it cocks. And we're going to try to shoot the Klingon ship. Did we get it? Do another one. Fire! Fire! You see that one? <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah, they don't make toys like uh, like we had anymore. So, my friends, that is the Dinky Star Trek. Obviously the original series. This is the USS Enterprise from Dinky Toys. Die-cast metal toy. And if you were curious about this, I hope that this satisfied your curiosity. Again, if you remembered it from childhood and you wanted to see it for one more time, um, let me get the white ones out. The white ones do not come with this. Like I said, it's they're yellow, but they're sealed and I didn't want to open them. So, my friends, until the next video, I thank you for watching, and um, live long and prosper. Mm -hmm.